Good morning, friends. Welcome to part two. I'll leave a link to part one, the build video in the description. I wasn't planning on filming a part two, but I figure while I have six yards of gravel sitting in the driveway, may as well get a couple shots of it in action. So enjoy. All right, folks, time for the true test. I use the dirty dump to move this dirt right there, maybe 15 feet but quite a bit. I just had six yards of zero to three quarter dumped in my driveway and I'm going to be carting the whole thing into this hole. I'll see how many charges it takes as well. To get from my driveway to, uh, to back here is about 100 feet or so, maybe a 200 foot round trip. I can't imagine I'll actually keep up with this and I'm also not starting with a full battery but um, it would be interesting to see how many loads I can get out of a uh, three-quarter full battery. First load. That's about how much she likes. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Bit of a side hill on here. So again, one hand. My left wheel's locked, my right wheel's freewheeling, so it wants to turn towards the house, which makes it essentially track straight. Twelve wheelbarrow loads so far. This stuff's kind of wet and pretty heavy, so I've been going uh, in high gear, but half loads. Turns out it's not going to be much of a battery test because I'm having lunch now and uh, she's on the charger because I don't want to run out of juice before the work's done. So back at it. It's a six cubic foot tray. I must say she chugs along pretty good. For the sake of this video being about the wheelbarrow and not my backyard project, I think I'm going to wrap this up here. I did get all six yards moved with a little bit of help from the analog wheelbarrow back there. Uh, I had a friend come over and help me out for a little bit. So the way this thing works is this side is bolted. It's always, it always drives. And then the other side, I have the option to release it. So this one always drives and that one either drives or freewheels. So what I did is I took a chunk of threaded rod, welded it to the end of the axle, and then took an axle nut to use as a spacer and um, what this does is it allows me to freewheel this side and lock the other side. That allows me to ride it on a hill like that and still track straight. Otherwise, this wheel's turning and it wants to go downhill. So I did that. So I have the option of which side I want to have locked or freewheeling which is uh, super duper handy. If you have an Arians, then um, you kind of get the best of both worlds. 10 amp hour, 24 volt battery, 500 watt motor. And um, I'd say on a full charge, if you let it go overnight, you'd probably get a day worth of endurance out of it. Worked like a charm, no issues at all. Cheers, guys.